The evolution of people-based marketing, then and now. At Wallop, this is how we have been working. The traditional media model is based more on guessing. Here's how it works. It starts with the brand or advertiser, using primary research to understand people's motivations and attitudes towards that brand. Then, there would be types of secondary research, like panel files, and aggregate information such as MRI or Simmons. All of it mostly qualitative in nature. Then this research would get infused into the media plan. In the traditional model, this would only include high-level demographics, so we're targeting people in the 18 to 34 range that fit in that particular profile. Maybe we look at gender or income as well, but since it's panel data, it isn't precise. The research would then inform the buys that are placed and the pricing that's negotiated. Next, we'd execute on those buys in hopes of hitting in broad strokes the customers we're trying to reach. But this is still a bit vague and unspecific. Then in parallel, we'd work with the established brand guidelines for the advertiser to build a creative brief for the specific campaigns. This could be anything from a product launch to a holiday campaign. The campaign dimensions would then yield the development of creative assets those would get trafficked and slotted into the chosen formats and outlets of the media buy. On a separate path, we typically have digital teams working on the experience side. Usually, this would be driving towards some sort of digital engagement that might be informed by high-level personas and journey maps. Then we define user stories to support website design decisions. After that, the experience would be built in hopes that it connects with the media we put in market. Altogether, we'd be aiming to generally reach the persona or broad target demographic that we created a plan around, and maybe that would match the experience we've created. When putting all these pieces together, it's still somewhat of an accidental experiment. Overall, it's really disjointed. How personally identifiable information changes everything. PII shifts the paradigm and lets us challenge the process and the silos that exist within it. By adding PII into the process, we're not dismissing research, but rather augmenting it. The difference is that we really want to focus on the audience development layer, using individual level PII to be thoughtful throughout the process. So now we feed that into the plan, the creative and the user experience, starting with the plan. We're now able to match up where our target and existing audiences actually are and how and where they consume media. This lets us be more thoughtful and surgical and creating the plan and executing the buys. Some of the buys may still be done traditionally, but now we can layer in programmatic and addressable components as we can target specific individuals that we're seeking in a much more discreet way. Now we can actually see the audiences that inform the planning process and we get a group of real people that we can build rich profiles for to create a marketing brief that's much more specific about where we can find those audiences and media. It's a much clearer picture in determining how we want to communicate with them through creative and copy. Co-currently, we can execute that push element of the experience and also influence the poll side or the channel and side experience, so then more and more data start to infuse the automation and the decisioning processes. This ensures we're rendering the right experience. Now we can use that same audience data to personalize that experience. We can also make sure from a design perspective that we're pulling the elements through that we're promising in the outbound media. Then the last piece, after building the plan and creating the assets and the experience, is the measurement and optimization. When we embrace PII and media, we expand the amount of data that supports measurement. It's changing the way we can get more detail level data back from the partnerships we have with addressable platforms so we can understand who is clicking and making purchases and who is receiving impressions. We now have a much higher level of media effectiveness, one that allows us to optimize inside of a campaign. And all that data collection feeds through to the closed loop of the process and informs the next round of planning when we start again. It's a constantly growing richer set of data, both PII and contextual data. We learn much more about what resonates, like purchase value, and how messages and experiences are working. Overall, we can constantly evolve, getting closer and more precise, and make marketing better.
that's the difference between then and now.